Hi there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today we have a really fun technique and this one is a little bit different than usual but I have used this several times over the years. It's kind of one of those things that I have a bit of a run at and I do lots of them and then I kind of have a stash of them and I'm good to go for a little while. Uh, it tends to take up a little bit of space when I'm drying them which is why I tend to have a run at them and then I pop the technique away for a little while. So this is making kind of faux glassine paper and we are going to be making them out of serviettes or napkins today. There are lots of different ways to do this. Everybody seems to have a little bit of their own take on it, but this is just mine and what seems to work for me. So I am just going to start off with normal napkins, normal serviettes, and I tend to have a run at using serviettes uh, because once I get a pack of them, there are so many that are the same, and I know that you can do napkin swaps, uh, which is a fantastic idea, but I tend to have a run at them and make sure I try and use the things that are sitting there in my stash, and mainly because they are in my uh, line of sight, so I tend to use them more. Now I'm going to pick this one to use this today, but any are going to work at all. You can use one that has more white space or less white space. This one obviously has none. But what you do need to do for this is you do need to peel off the other layers. So sometimes they have two layers, sometimes they have three layers. All we want is the very top layer of the napkin, the one with the design on it. You can also do this with the plain ones and stamp them first and that creates a gorgeous uh, little paper as well. But once I have that, I use a couple of pieces of baking paper here in New Zealand. You might like to use some wax paper, you might like to use some cling wrap, anything that's non-porous that's big enough to fit your entire serviette on or napkin. And then I just have a little bit of water here in the bottom of this cup. And I'm going to use some multi-medium. Uh, this one happens to be in the matte finish. This is the glue that I use in my glue bottles. And I'm going to mix this in with a little bit of water. Pretty much any white glue is going to work for this. So like school glue or PVA glues, any of those are going to work and you just want to, I mean, you don't have to thin them down, but I find, I mean, we use less and it works just the same if you thin them down a little bit until they're kind of like a, I don't know, yogurt kind of consistency. <laughs> um, and then what I do, as I said, everybody tends to have their own way, but I put down a layer down onto my non-stick surface, my non-porous surface, and I just kind of, you know, just roughly, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but we want to soak both sides of the napkin. And of course, once these napkins are wet, it is not something that you would tend to pull up and kind of turn over. So that's why I put a layer underneath for First. And then I just roughly flatten it out. Wrinkles is all good if that's, I don't, I don't mind them at all. They look fine. Um, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then all I'm going to do is pop a layer of the exact same glue over top of this. And this is just, it goes pretty fast. And But you do want to make sure that you um, be a little bit careful. You don't want to tear them. But you do want to make sure that you get everything covered really well. This is kind of not the thing to go super sparingly on. You don't want to soak it, but you do want to make sure that things are covered. Pop this away for a little bit, depending on the climate that you live in. For me, wait, we are in winter here in New Zealand at the moment, and it is currently snowing today. <laughs> so it takes me a minute to dry these, um, and often I would just leave them overnight. But then when it comes to peeling them off, you can kind of find a corner and it peels off slowly. Otherwise, sometimes I take a ruler to free up the edges. This is mainly because um, sometimes you get kind of glue coming out of the sides and you'll get these kind of little um, hangover pieces that come out the edges. And I'll show you in just a minute what that's like. But in general, you should pretty much be able to just pull this off and it should come off in one sheet. And now this is relatively durable. And here is our sheet all finished. This reminds me of the glassine bags that you can use um, and so that's why it's kind of a faux technique I guess. It's relatively strong. I can kind of pull it and you know scrunch it up and unscrunch it and things like that uh, without it ripping. It does rip. It makes fantastic mixed media backgrounds for those sorts of things. You can use it for so many different occasions. And in this video today, I'm just going to show you the fastest one that I love doing. Um, and then I also have a video coming up in two days time, which will be the one how I show you how I turn this into cards. 
Now I do just want to show you, you can see these gluey bits hanging off the edge and all I do is I'm able to snip these with scissors. I can cut these with a normal paper trimmer. That is, it's so easy, it doesn't tear or anything. Um, so they come off super easy. But what I do love to do with these is I love to use these as kind of a reusable gift wrap. And so I have kind of my cards that are set and ready to go. And then I just fold this up. I prefer to keep it in a larger sheet and then that way I feel like someone else could reuse this as well. And my family are well versed at receiving these and tend to pass them on or wrap up something else with them. And I guess that makes me happy too, to know that they are being reused and they kind of keep going on down the track. But all I do is I would bunch up, you know, five or half a dozen or so cards as a gift, pop a ribbon around the middle, and then that just makes a really nice little easy something to pop in with a gift as well. So as I said, I will have the next video coming up showing you on how I can turn this into cards, but just a really easy, quick technique that I thought you might be interested in. Let me know in the comment section down below if this is something you've tried before or if you're interested in it. But other than that, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye!